Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. This time we're taking a look at the 1994 Subaru Impreza WRX Wagon. Uh, another day, another Impreza. This one's one of the earlier ones, hence why Impreza's written in a very interesting font. Um, yeah, not much to say about this one. We haven't had the 94 WRX sedan go around here yet, but this one's got a run race mod that isn't because this has got the Repsol logos on it, which I do think are quite cool. Unfortunately for this one, it is probably the worst Impreza in the game because it's the wagon version of the 94 and the 94 is not very quick. Four wheel drive, only 320 horsepower, 1093 kilos. I think this actually starts out stock with about 210 horsepower. So, of course, this is before uh, the STIs and so on and so forth this is when the impreza this was just you know a humdrum sports model admittedly we have roof racks which means double downforce and we have two wings which means quadruple downforce and we have a hub scoop so you know maybe that'll count for something anyways this is going to get six laps of the motorsports land track in order to set the best time it possibly can our current leader is the mitsubishi lancer evo 5 rs with a 27.806 I do have to admit, the Evo is probably laughing at the moment looking at this um, poor old Impreza go round. Like I say, the slowest Impreza in the game. So, but despite that, despite being the slowest Impreza, they should still put up a pretty decent fight, I think. Uh, what is the slowest Impreza we've had? The slowest Impreza we've had, I think, has been a 97 wagon, which did a. 29.936. I do suspect this might be the first Impreza to fall very slightly out of the under 30 club, but I don't think by much. I think in terms of what this car should be challenging, uh, the Lancia Delta HF, where was that? A 30.167. If he can get like 30.3 somewhere around there, I'll, I'll be happy. Like I say, ultimately, this isn't going to be the cream of the crop because that's not the way this works um yeah it's just the slowest in pretzel there's no way around it this is one of the coolest looking ones you know you got the repsol on the race mod which is always a bonus but it, it's yeah something had to be that, that's the way to look at this something had to be the slowest in pretzel and i think a lot of these um non-STI Impreza's went the way of the Dodo in Gran Turismo after this game. Um, I'm trying to remember, I know the Bug Eye was obviously in GT3. I can't remember if there's a standard WRX in that game. I think they're all STIs. And then GT Concept bought the, uh, the Pro Drive version, which is my personal favourite. But, yeah, I don't think they ever had the just standard WRX. 30.180, okay, so that's pretty much right around what we was expecting. So, it's very slightly up on that R33 through, uh, through the first sector. It definitely drives better than that R33, no question about that. Hitting that wall just sacrifice that lap a bit. I think there is a slight ink more in this car. Come on, old Impreza. That's gonna... Ah! I knew that was gonna understand that wall. Ah. Oh well. It's done well. Um, I, I think that could probably go under 30, in all honesty. I, I do think it could have a little bit more in the bank there, but... That's not bad. That's really not bad. Um, what did that legacy, what power did that legacy have? Hmm. It's very slightly slower than that legacy, but yeah. I'm a bit annoyed about that because there's definitely point 0.2 in there, isn't there? Or is there? Actually, looking at that, is there point 0.2 in that? I don't think so, actually. I think maybe you'd go just about at the under 30, but I don't think you'd quite... Yeah, maybe not. I mean, none of my 
fastest splits were in that lap, but you can see it's a pretty consistent um, car, really. Anyways, 30.180 will place this into 50th place. It is the slowest Impreza, however, it beats the slowest Evo, so that's something. Now, admittedly, the Evo 2 was one of the very first cars to come around here. And we also have got the 94 sedan to come, which isn't going to have race mod, so that's going to be an interesting fight between those two. But, yeah, not too bad. Uh, lose that slightly to the Legacy, fractionally. Uh, to the Delta, fractionally. Toyota Sleeker GC4. I mean, it's in pretty good company, really. And like I say, this, unless the race mod does count for something, and in which case that 94 sedan is going to be the slowest, but this, yeah should be it should be nothing but up from here also i've just noticed it's got sti logos on it that's quite funny anyways that's it for this episode thank you all very much for watching and join me next time when i'll be driving something completely different until then farewell